Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'm continuing with my second of four videos about collagen peptide supplements and whether the data supports some of the health claims it makes. The first video was about collagen peptides and skin health. If you missed it, be sure to look for it from last week. Today, we're moving on to whether there's data that collagen peptides can reduce joint pain. Osteoarthritis, or joint pain that's seen with aging and wear and tear on the joints, is a common problem that mainly affects the weight-bearing joints such as the hips and knees. It can greatly impair quality of life and the pain relievers that are often prescribed, such as Tylenol and Advil, don't work that well and have side effects. The theory is that ingesting collagen could induce the production of cartilage, which is the cushion between the joints. It's the cartilage that gets worn down and causes pain with osteoarthritis. One interesting but small study gave five grams of pork skin or cow bone collagen peptide twice a day, dissolved in water or milk, and they followed the participants for 13 weeks. 20 subjects received the collagen and 10 received a placebo. They then followed several scores such as pain, stiffness, and physical function. Now I must note that all of these were subjective scales, but they followed these over about 13 weeks. However, a pretty large and significant improvement in all the scales was seen with patients that received the collagen peptide versus those that received a placebo. The specific collagen peptide they used in this study was from Nita Gelatin from Japan and India. The study results are in line with results from an interesting systematic review published in September 2017 that looked at lots of different supplements, not just collagen. And it was difficult for me to know what specific types of collagen peptides each study used. But nonetheless, they found that like the other study, collagen hydrolysate supplementation helped in the short term, which they defined as less than three months, and helped in the median term, defined as four to six months, but it did not help in the long term, defined as more than six months. And what about the use of collagen in younger athletes that are experiencing joint pain instead of older people with osteoarthritis? Well, a study of 97 athletes all around the age of 20 were found to have significant reduction in their joint pain when they used 10 grams of collagen hydrolysate called Fortigel by Jolita daily over 24 weeks. But once again, this falls in line with the other studies and is still considered pain relief in the short and medium term. We don't know if this will continue in the long term. So to summarize, I do think there's adequate data to consider taking collagen hydrolysate for osteoarthritis and acute joint pain and to have an expectation of some pain relief, but realize that this effect may wane after taking it for more than six months. Thanks again for joining me and be sure to look for my next video on collagen peptides next week and whether collagen can improve muscle mass or prevent bone loss.